In this video, we will show you why good architecture is by default sustainable architecture and how every architect can design and build green buildings without having to worry about all the fancy and sometimes very expensive certificates or regulations. All you need is your common sense and for that we are very happy to announce that you can now have a professional training in green architecture for a 60% discount at europe.education by using the code below and featured currently on your screen. Before we start with this video, make sure to join the channel by clicking the subscribe button and to help us keep moving forward with our content, please join our Patreon where you can unlock exclusive benefits designed only for our patrons. Now, let us first investigate. What is sustainability? From a global perspective, sustainability is a system of balance between the use of resources and the well-being of a humanity as a whole. You see, we always consider the economic cost of our activities in relation to ourselves or to our society. Personal, social and economic factors are relatively easy to quantify and to measure. You can instantly know if you have money or not, or if you are happy or not. Environment is the fourth ingredient of this formula that we tend not to think about since it has a longer term impact and might not be noticed directly. All of our resources by default come from the environment, be it the stones from the mountains, the soil from the land, the water from the rivers and so on. Environment is technically the context and it is the raw materials of all of our projects. So what happens when architects ignore to consider the environment in their designs? Sustainability simply means being able to exist successfully for a very long period of time. And just like in our social life, in order to be successful, we have to coexist with other people and systems. This is the key to live healthy on this earth. We have to make sure that we are not harming the systems that provide us this longevity. Polluting the air or the water streams, manipulating the genetic structures, or disposing radioactive materials are all self-destructive mechanisms. One might ask, what is sustainable architecture? We can clearly see that the concept of green buildings is just a byproduct in this new way of thinking. Going back to the initial four ingredients of life and putting them in the context of architecture, any architecture student can easily point out if a design will have a positive social impact and if it will serve its purpose in an economical frame. At this point, it should only be common sense if this design is serving its ecological expectation. Imagine building a public school targeted to educate the low-income families' children of a certain society in order to lift out poverty and to increase the well-being of its population. Now let's assume that the urban planning committee of that project decides to locate that building at the outskirt of the town where every student need around 20 minutes drive to get there. The cost from the environmental damage produced by transporting the kids back and forth from their houses to the school will technically eradicate the other social and economic advantages. So what are the aspects of a sustainable design? Simply put, it is common sense, and it is the process of considering the environmental cost into the design process. The first image that comes to our minds when we say green architecture is the technologies that comes with it. Expensive solar panels, green walls, complicated mechanisms, and so on. But before going there and to achieve a green design, you need to think of the basics. First, lowering the energy consumed by the project after completion. Second, the materials used to build that project, and third, the expected time for this project to be done. Energy consumption start by the location of the project to its users, just like our example school project we just discussed. Then we need of course to have proper insulation, heat collection, proper ventilation, and of course the whole project orientation. The materials used to make this project should have been produced and have the potential to be reused or to be generated at a low environmental cost. A simple example for that is our Earth. We discussed the benefits of building with Earth in our series on Earth ships. Check it out, the link will be down in the description. And finally, some buildings are made to live for a few years, so the materials used in them should either have the potential to be easily relocated into a new project 
or they should be biodegradable. Some other buildings are made to last for ages. And for that, it has to take into consideration all of the different aspects that might affect it, such as the weather, natural disasters, and earthquakes. We would like to thank you guys for sticking with us till the end of this video. Please don't forget to check our Patreon page where you can pledge as little as $1 to help us keep moving forward with our content. Make sure to also use our code to enroll in the green architecture courses provided to us by Europe.education because every architect should learn to have sustainable approaches. The code is down in the description and it is on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.